Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We are here on the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and I'm sure especially with how this gunsmith works and how just this general creative class works, a lot of you are wondering what exactly should I be using? Now, because this is a beta, I, I think you should try out as many different guns as you can, but if you're looking to maybe try and go on some high streaks, drop some, uh, you know, just absolute banger gameplays, I wanted to give you guys a handful of really, really solid setups. Now, there's three core weapons I want to look at today. The M4, I want to look at the Lockman sub, aka the mp5 we actually have two different setups i want to break down for that and then also the uh cinder hurricane or really just the m4 hurricane which is the smg uh variant of the m4 and i got two different loadouts for that one as well before we go into all the general uh you know attachments and everything though i do want to break down my perks and equipment and my field upgrades because this is going to stay the same on all my loadouts here and uh, obviously with the new perk system here it's worth mentioning diving into it a little bit more now for equipment i've been liking the stuns as my uh my tactical here just because they're super strong now yeah battle hardened does counter them but still they uh they can mess players up pretty well those are solid the shock sticks aren't bad either because they force players to shoot which messes up a lot of players uh then i also i like the semtex the drill charge isn't bad for trying to deal with campers uh but this is like more so preference based to me, Semtexes and Stuns is a pretty consistent way to go. Now, for perk packages, my go-to right now consists of, uh, obviously, Double Time and Battle Hardened, as you guys can see for perk one. And if I go in and edit here, we can get a better look at this. So, uh, this is my go-to combination. Now, you could use Overkill if you want two primaries, but an MP, it's so easy to find other weapons on the ground. So, I don't feel like that's necessary. Scavenger is decent for ammo if you like to go on high streaks, but you could also run on munitions if you wanted to. To me, though, Double Time, because that double duration of tax sprint, because with slide canceling and how it's not really a thing unless you go for the super complicated button mashes having that double tax sprint time because it's not getting reset from slide canceling huge benefit to have and then battle hardened like i said because there's so much spam with nades and stuns and flashes and stuff that's going to help out a ton there so i go for those for uh my perk one and my base perks then the first perk i earn is quick fix which basically allows me to start regening as soon as i get a kill with how fast this ttk is uh as soon as you get a kill and you get this regen off it allows you to rechal a lot quicker and hopefully stay alive in a gun fight where you might be a little bit injured going into it uh, it just allows you to play uh, a little bit more aggressive then also i have bird's eye on there as well which is uh a way to get like a sort of mini advanced uav once you earn this it zooms out the mini map there's more pings when you get kills and basically is the closest thing to the classic mini map that we have in the game as of right now so that's my go-to setup and that stays the same on all my classes then for the field upgrades i've been messing around uh, i was using the ddos recently because on your screen it actually says targets within radius so it can let you know when players are around you that is super useful for figuring out information especially with the lack of a classic mini map so uh this is not bad uh the munitions of course is pretty solid as well because you can refill ammo battle rage also pretty fun and then of course there is a way to get dead silence if you use the hunter perk package you could always use that as well if you wanted to but for field upgrades i think there are some standouts battle rage muni uh obviously ddos and the dead silence if you uh, can use it but you can definitely mess around here and see what works well for your play style also real quick for the secondary here i am using the side impact pistol this is the one you get for reaching level 15 uh it's the blueprint you can't gunsmith it or anything you can't change the attachments you're just stuck with this but this is a fully auto pistol so it's not a bad secondary at all like it actually has a decent ttk the first main weapon here we're looking at though is the m4 and this thing in my opinion is the go-to weapon in the beta just for general versatility uh obviously you guys are seeing some gameplay right now now as you saw at the start of the video i have two classes for the mp5 and two for the hurricane only one for the m4 because this one that i'm running just feels that consistent that i don't think there are better alternatives here or alternatives for different play styles this one is just spicy across the board right good recoil good range good damage it just in general feels very very nice so let's get into the attachments here obviously we only have our five attachments set up first up i go for a muzzle and in this case i'm using the forge tech castle compensator which is just basically meant for recoil obviously you don't need a suppressor here since you don't show up on the radar when you're shooting without one so that basically just makes suppressors completely useless in most cases uh so might as well go for some better recoil right and the cons of the worst ads speed and stability really not the end of the world for a rifle like this it's still mad aggressive i also have the carbine shroud barrel the 14 inch here this is just going to give you some better control and velocity it hurts your ads and your movement a bit but overall just makes this gun shoot straight and feel good over range you could also though use the high tower 20 inch barrel if you wanted to for better velocity range i do have the vault edition pack for what it's worth so i might have some attachments that you guys might not see 
change it as you need for what you have available of course but basically you just want to go for a barrel that's going to help out with range and control here make it more consistent there i also got one of the best attachments in the game the pineapple grip which is fantastic uh obviously it looks like a pineapple this is just meant for again basic control to make it shoot a little bit straighter i got the cronin mini red dot on here really optics are all personal preference based the sc mini which is like a red dot sight or maybe like a it's like a crosshair red dot if you will that's not bad the lone wolf is like your basic uh hollow sight that's a pretty good choice as well Whichever one of these you like using the most and you feel like you're the most accurate with, always use that one. And then lastly here, I got the X10 grip, which is just basically meant for mobility. This makes it a bit more aggressive for the better sprint to fire and ADS. So you get that nice balance of an aggressive, but easy to control and high power rifle with this general loadout here. Like I said, one that I have really, really been enjoying. Also, just a reminder, as we are breaking all this down, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notices. Of course, come the full game, we're gonna be breaking down all the class setups, all the loadouts, the tips, everything you need to do well in mw2 and warzone 2 you'll find right here so be sure to hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 million subs and also little secret loadout here for you guys if you want to get the absolute best advantage you can for the cross play beta weekend 2 of mw2 throw on this loadout here drop in with some g fuel that you got using code immortal which currently is 30 percent off your entire order this weekend only best time to buy right now you get that increased discount you can get it in time for that weekend to beta and of course the more the code gets used the better the chance of us getting our very own flavor one day or perhaps a re-release of our classic shaker cup now loadout two or class setup two here is using the mp5 now in order to get this you have to basically level up the lockman 556 first you have to put the shotgun on your class setup and then put overkill on your class setup and the lockman 556 will default as your secondary you level that up you can get the mp5 here and actually use this in the gun Smith. Now, this setup to me is the more uh, standard of the two that you'll see players use because it's a little bit more friendly, if you will, a little bit more aggressive as well. So first up here, we have the SA, huh? the suppressor. It's the only suppressor you have unlocked here. The rest of these are compensators. Go for the suppressor here. It helps out with some recoil, some velocity. Also has that suppression, which isn't the biggest deal, but it still is going to feel nice and solid on the setup here. I end up not going for a barrel. Something that's super weird with a lot of these weapons is they're better without barrels for some reason. At least they feel better without barrels. So no barrel here. Instead, I'm going for the lock grip precision under barrel, which is better uh, hip fire, also better control as well. So it makes it a little bit easier to shoot. You really don't lose too much aggression with that. Uh, I'm going for the SZ mini optic on here. Just a basic little like crosshair red dot as mentioned. You could go for the iron sights here. The recoil is not the craziest. So that's why I have the red dot. It makes it a little bit easier to see. But if you didn't want the uh, the optic on here, you could always swap for something else in the uh, case of like maybe uh, a mag magazine 40 round mag you could go for hollow point if you wanted to i like the optic on there personally i got no stock this is going to make it mad aggressive and it's one of the faster weapons in the game the general movement and sprint to fire in this game not super fast so this is one of the better ones you can use right now and then lastly i got the cronus grip uh which actually helps out with flinch resistance it's the only grip you can use unfortunately but this will help out in some gunfights where they are shooting back at you hopefully you can stay on target a little bit easier like i said this is just build one out of two for the mp5s though the other mp5 build i have is this one one here which is a little bit different in a handful of ways this one is going to be a little bit slower but it's going to be easier to use so it's not as aggressive but it shoots straight and it's nice and accurate so here i got the lock shot kt85 compensator or muzzle it's just better for uh better for control in general obviously plus horizontal plus vertical so gonna make it easier to shoot we also have the 12 inch barrel on here which for an smg i didn't initially think would be the go-to i tried the pulser i tried the falcon both of these just felt way too shaky obviously this game has a little bit more recoil than warzone or mw 2019 so you got to get used to that and you do have to focus on control for weapons a lot more so this despite the fact that it hurts your movement and your ads is still gonna be the best choice like i said it's just a little bit slower than the first setup i got the nine mil hollow point on here it's gonna help out with that power a little bit also is going to slow down down your target which is nice so makes it a little bit easier we got the 40 round mag just sort of a basic extended mag and then i also have no stock on here as well the only thing you could potentially change with this setup i would say is maybe drop in the 40 because it's still gonna be a 30 round mag and you throw on the rear grip for better flinch resistance that could be pretty solid it might be a little bit more snappy but in general like i said this setup is about control and making it easier to shoot rather than being mad aggressive and then the final weapon i'm going to look at today is the hurricane smg and we again have two setups for this that i think are very solid each in their own right works really really well this is a fun weapon though it reminds me a lot of the cordite from black ops 4 just with the way it looks the way it feels and plays it's definitely an aggressive smg but it's not 
aggressive in the same way the mp5 is mp5 is nice and agile this one is still more aggressive than a rifle build or an lmg obviously but it feels more of like an ar smg hybrid because that's essentially what it is since this is a base m4 converted into an smg right so when we go into the gunsmith this is our first setup here and this one's a little bit more of that rifle smg hybrid the second one's a little bit more aggressive uh but this one is very unique so first up here we got the x7 barrel which actually is like a monolithic integral in a way it has built-in suppression so it's got the built-in silencer better for control and velocity as well which is nice and solid it does make your gun a little bit slower though hence why this is more of the hybrid build it's aggressive you can use this for close range but it's not going to be as fast and snappy as potentially some other builds we also have the pineapple under barrel yet again for that better control again hurting that mobility but making it super easy to use cronin mini red dot here yet again you could also use just the basic red dot crosshair if you wanted to totally comes down to preference i got the fade pro stock this will help out with some control as well to make it just super easy to shoot then lastly i go for the x10 grip so that it does have some aggressive mobility stats on there with the better sprint to fire and the better ads speed as well so that'll help out somewhat there it's got a nice balance of good control and some decent speed as well uh, and a very fun weapon to use just in general and then the second setup here might be one of my favorites in the game right now honestly so this one a lot more aggressive like i said first up here i have been using the uh, the suppressor yet again the sa we're not gonna try and pronounce this over and over again because i'm gonna keep messing it up uh so you could definitely run this on there just for the basic control velocity suppression stats it's by no means necessary uh, i i certainly think you could use the lock shot on this as well and it'll work really really good too uh because again when you shoot you don't show up on the map and the suppression it's still loud like i can still hear somebody shooting with a suppressor if they're close so suppressors really aren't doing much but it does have good alternative stats there but you could go either or here just fine i got the precision under barrel in this case to make it a little bit more aggressive pineapple does hurt your hip walking speed a bit more so this one will make you a little bit uh faster just in general still helps out with that control though we got the hollow point ammo here yet again for the same reason as over on the mp5 i go for the uh demo fade pro stock yet again for the better control because this one obviously is a little bit faster and doesn't have as many uh control increasing aspects so it's nice to have some there here and there and then lastly i go for the x10 grip yet again for the sprint to fire and ads really good control and this one primarily is meant for those very close range fights and that run and gun play style super fun smg uh build here though that i really really enjoy but that being said those are five of my favorite loadouts right now in the mw2 beta as the level cap increases we'll gain access to more weapons so we might revisit this in the future and break down some other setups as well but, but if you are looking for some weapons to just frag out and do really well well with rather than testing them all out as needed uh these setups in my opinion work really really well that's gonna wrap things up though hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications because every single day i got you covered with all things going on in cod but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out